everybody. This is one of Jerry's box of goodies that I've got. This is a food packet long range patrol chicken and rice menu number eight. It says it's from about the 1980s. We will confirm that when we crack into this thing. Relatively small, definitely lightweight. I will uh, grab my scale and do a measurement and post it on the bottom or do something like that. In fact, hold on a second. Let me check that out real quick. In fact, you can see that was a 10.5 ounces. Let me see if I can get that on grams. Is that on grams? Nope. There you go. There it is on grams. So, yeah, they say we do that to make these things lightweight. <laughs> but the problem with the weight is you got to carry all the bloody water. So, do you want to just open it up and eat it and carry that extra weight of a meal that you can just eat? Or do you want to have a lightweight package but have to carry all the water and have to wait till it reconstitutes and eat it? So, it's always a trade-off. So, pretty much nondescript packaging. Doesn't have one of those uh, easy tear seals like they did with the old brown bags. It's just that simple tear notch. So, well, let's check this thing out. See what we got inside. And sometimes they're easy to open and sometimes they are not. Like it's surrounded by like a cardboard napkin kind of thing to protect the inside. That's everything out of there. Accessory packet. It's got the contents right on there. Looks like this was once taped together. And again, this is just a sealed chicken with rice. Weird. It kind of had like a little smell coming out of this, and uh, huh, kind of neat. You can see the company that this is made from right down there on the bottom. Chicken with rice dehydrated cook. So it says tear bag open. At notches, add half a canteen cup of hot or cold water to food in the bag. Let soak about five minutes. Add more water if desired. May be eaten dry. So just so everybody can see that right there. You need hot water. You need cold water. It needed to soak for 15 minutes. It needed to soak for 20 minutes. Just so everybody can see it. So, all right, caution, inner bag is open on one side, so, okay, ingredients, cooked chicken, rice, corn oil, pimentos, seasoning mix, and then all of the good stuff, monosodium, glutamate, salt, partially hydro hydrogenated, Soybean and cottonseed oils, wheat starch, sugar, chicken fat, hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Oh man, all of that good yummy stuff. Dehydrated chicken meat, turmeric. So, okay. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. That's some toilet paper to help clear it. And, uh, the old time spoon. So we can tell this is definitely early, early. Man, having a bad time today. Early 80s with this kind of spoon. Let's take a look at our accessory packet. This is definitely uh, early 80s. Let's see if I can find like a date code or something on this. The only thing I see on here. I don't really see one. What about on this? Oh, 
don't see anything on here either. So, and you can see this doesn't really even have like any tear notches either. It just has these little slits kind of poked in here. So open this up. Ah, you can really smell this. This chocolate fudge bar permeates the entire package. As soon as I open it, I could, woo, you could smell that. And if you've ever had uh, like chocolate saltwater taffy or anything like that, that is that kind of a smell. So we've got chocolate fudge and then you've got chocolate beverage powder. So we've got the good makings for uh, ranger pudding. And then we've got coffee, creamer, wow, sugar. So right there's our ranger pudding. Or you can have high speed caffeinated ranger pudding. Pack of matches. So I definitely have not seen any date codes on anything. So, and that's pretty, pretty rare. Usually you'll find a date code on something. So, the only thing that I've seen, like, stamped is that. And I know that that is not a date code. So, well, this will be... Well, there's something right there. But I... I don't think that would be it. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Well, I suppose uh, let me fill up my half a cup of canteen with uh, some hot water to help this rehydrate. I will have a cup of uh, coffee. And, uh, yep, let's get this stuff prepared. Okay, sorry, I forgot to hit record when I opened this thing up. And uh, I know it said, <laughs> it said caution when inner bag is open on one side, remove it and carefully holding the outer bag upright. All right, I wasn't quite expecting this. Uh, yeah, so I know the other one had an outer bag too. So, well, I mean, and an inner bag. So, we have to pour the water into this, and then after the water is in this, then we have to get it back into here. So, I think the best way to do that is to have it already sort of inside. Kind of, because with 16 ounces of, of water, that I don't, I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna really work out. But I've got 16 ounces of hot water right here. This might be, I don't know, this might be a challenge. Or, you know what? Maybe you don't put it back in. It doesn't say that you have to put it back in there. The outer bag is open. Alright, you know what? We're just going to use the force Luke and just put the 16 ounces of water in here. I wasn't in Vietnam, so, you know, the rations that we had, we didn't have to do it like this. So, I'm quite sure Rocky and... The rest of the guys will let me know. Let me give this a stir real quick. Oh man, this is probably way too much water. It probably really only needed like 10 ounces or something like that. Man, I hope this... I will probably end up having a uh, soup as opposed to... Oh man. Yep. So, yeah, that can be problematic. The one thing that I was uh, smart enough to do, 
I don't know, maybe not, but I do have a binder clip here. At least I will try to keep the top closed. So at least it won't get all over everywhere. And it said five minutes. So, yeah. That was probably a mistake taking out of this nice foil bag. But, yeah, what are you going to do? So, it is scalding water. Maybe we put it on top of there. Maybe that conductive process will help that a little bit. So, all right, well, let's let this thing do its thing and uh, let's uh, get the coffee going. Okay, the coffee said one canteen cup, one packet of coffee, and a third of a canteen cup. And this coffee has been in there for quite a bit, and it is a little, it is a little crusty. So, eh, not too bad. It still smells like coffee, so that's always a plus. Can't go wrong if it still smells like it. That fudge thing, on the other hand, that still smells like fudge, but I don't, I don't know about that. And this is eight ounces of water, which is a, a third of uh, the coffee. is about 250 mil. And that is nice hot water. I don't know if it's doing a lot to dissolve this. So, let me let this little chunks dissolve for a little while and see how that works out. Yeah, <laughs> probably not too well. Taster's choice or whatever this is. Grade A class one coffee. Okay, the only other thing in here to eat, I mean, there was not even any gum, was this chocolate fudge bar. 1.34 ounces from the Wayne Candies Company of Wayne, Indiana. Still soft to the touch. So, that coffee decided it wanted to stick to the side of the canteen cup and to the spoon. So I don't know, that's kind of got me a little, uh, I don't know, a little nervous. Here we go, there's a little look at that. I guess, uh, I don't know, it kind of smells okay. Kind of funky. I've never heard of anybody getting botulism from chocolate, so. Okay, it's been a little over five minutes and it's part of the reason why you can never follow the directions on these things because I added the 16 ounces of water like it said and look that is bloody soup and uh, it tells you to wait five minutes it's supposed to be magically cooked so or rehydrated so uh, I I guess I'll try to pour some of this onto the tray. It should be a kind of a challenge. All right, I guess that's going to have to do. Yeah, I know. I always get comments. Well, you didn't read the directions. You didn't do it right, and you didn't. Either that or you're supposed to be eating soup, or you're supposed to be using this to hydrate, or you're supposed to be whatever, but... I don't know. Well, looks like it's got some carrots, some rice, some uh, bits of chicken in there. No, it obviously needs more time than about the 10 minutes that it's actually been. So, and I would assume that it probably needs to be inside of this foil which is why they've done a complete total redesign of the packaging to start with but I wasn't in the army during this era and I wasn't an alert guy uh, in that era so what are you gonna do it's a review so that being said
Now the fudge bar. It's already kind of coming apart. It's got different shades and different hues and It tastes okay, but it's all kind of falling apart. It tastes like a... I don't know. Like a breakfast square kind of thing. It doesn't have a really great aftertaste, I will tell you that. Um, like those chocolate breakfast bars again. Oh, you know what? That aftertaste just keeps on coming and coming and coming. I wish I could, I wish I would have taken a smaller bite now. Oh, yep. Well, I'm going back in for some of this to try to rescue my taste buds. The initial. Oh, well, hold on. Time out. Mmm. Almost makes me wish I had a beer down here right now. There's coffee. It's almost like napalm. You can see all the coffee stuck to the edges. This is probably not going to be... Oh yeah, this is like drinking lighter fluid. Okay. You know what? Mmm. I guarantee if they, if you had to eat this, if you were in prison, your, recidiv your recidivism rate or your willingness to go back would probably drop dramatically. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm going to be right back. Okay, everybody. I just got done pounding uh, one and a half of these Gatorades. <sighs> Still, Jerry is a great guy. He's got a ton of this stuff left. He's got all kinds of military stuff. He, I, I believe he said like all the way from like World War I up to present day. So, he's a private collector and... Uh, you know, he's just looking to, to get rid of all of this stuff. So I'll have a, a link down at the bottom with his email. So if you're interested in getting your hands and trying your luck at, at one of these, give him a shout. So this was a review of a, an early, very early 1980s uh, food packet long-range patrol uh, ration. I've got another one of these from Vietnam era, which after this one's got me real anxious. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you all next time. All right. Bye.